The Vice President Yemiyo Shibajo led committee set up by the National Economic Council to find a lasting solution to the killing by herdsmen across the country has recommended an increase of military presence in Benue and other states affected by the attacks. While well, joining us live via Skype is the President Benue Youth Forum Kwanum Terence to share his thoughts on the significance of the military presence in these affected areas. Good to have you with us on the news hour. So now, how much of an impact do you think the military presence in Benue State and also others affected by the herdsmen address that herdsmen farmers clashes address the issues concerned? Well, we've been long expecting to have a military presence in Benue. Uh, we have even called on the federal government ourselves that the situation in Benue is more than the police. Uh, if you could recall when this attack came to Benue, the DIG operations came to Benue and went back and said that the terrain in Benue that they are fighting is complex for them. We expected the federal government to have, at that time, send the military presence into Benue. Uh, but they have uh, always expressed a lot slacker attitude towards bringing the military to Benue. That has led to the killing of innocent uh, police officers and the people of Benue. And we keep wondering why the police will order their men to go and be killed the way they are killing the people of Benue. We expect uh, the president, but for the committee of the vice president, we are surprised that a committee that never met will order the a redeployment of the military uh, to Benue State because the, the governor of Benue State is a member of that committee. We are aware that our governor has not left the state since the visit to the president. So we wonder how they met and directed the military to come to Benway. But if actually military is coming to Benway, I think it will improve the security situation. But at the moment, Benway has no military presence, and we are still expecting if there is any directive to that effect. All right. Given the antecedents of the Nigerian military in, uh, in such uh, cases and the issue of uh, human rights abuse, I'm aware you are one of those who spoke uh, vigorously that the Nigerian army has changed in terms of uh, human rights abuse and all that. Tell me how you think this will fare well for the people of Benue and some other states affected. Well, the issue of human rights is when even the civilians are protecting that they arise. The military has not stepped in to protect the innocent people of Benue yet, so we can't be discussing the issue of human rights at the moment because there's no operation in place, so there's no way to monitor human rights situation. The entire humanity that exists in the Benue Valley has been already abused by terrorists in this place. Nobody is attending to them. Nobody is arrest arresting the perpetrators. The perpetrators are still moving as free, like every other person they are killing in this country. And that is a source of worry to the Benue people. So if the military are coming, let them launch an operation the way they have launched the operation anywhere that there has been crisis. These cartoons that they are talking, they are being rustled. There is a military task force that is against rustling in this country. But the farmers have been left bare without any operation covering them. They have just been vulnerable for these attackers to be killed. Uh, just today, we woke up in Benway to be mocked by the people of Nasara State that they killed 73 cows. Is it because we buried 73 innocent souls in Benway that they will go and co opt a conspiracy to mock us in Nasara State? It is a sad prodigy. We are looking to it and will respond at the appropriate time. And talking about this uh, killing of the cows now, you know, more or less more like a reprisal if it is anything to go by. But the report now coming from the government circles suggests that these uh, killings are being perpetrated by mercenaries and bandits and not necessarily the herdsmen as has been alleged over time now. How would you react to this? The people that attack us are terrorists. They have come out to claim that they attacked us because the Mayati Allah Kata Ohore said they attacked us because they also 1,000 of their cows. The Mayati Allah Kata breeders told us they attacked us because we had an open grazing prohibition law. The Fulani extremists said they attacked us because the Benway Valley belongs to them. If we look at these three reasons, our people are not trained in the art of herding. So they cannot go and rustle a cow because if you rustle a cow, you must head it back home. We don't know that practice. On the issue of anti-open grazing, this is the best practice of rearing livestock all over the world. We have chosen to adapt to, to bring this to the Benue people. On the issue of the Benue colony belonging to the Fulani people, the nearest village to the Fulani village in, from Benue State is 730 kilometers. 
All these excuses they have given, they have attacked us, holds no water. These people that claim they have attacked us, they are moving freely, nobody is arrested there. Does it mean that they have, they have immunity in this country to attack people and go free? That is the position of the Bedouin people. These people are, are their terrorist group. The Global Terrorism Index has already declared the Fulani Hezbollah as the fourth most dangerous terrorist group in the world. The Nigerian state is refusing to declare them as terrorists because of the issues that are going on, conspiracy by the federal government, protecting these people to, to kill Nigerians left, right, and center. Okay, uh, if, from what you just explained now, that one of the reasons they gave for attacking people in Benue was because they said their cattle were ra ra I mean, rustled. Uh, uh, if that is what they said, if that point is valid, and what we have right now in Nasara State in terms of another, some be, cattle, some cattle, uh, Terence, Terence, please hold on. Some okay. cattle now, according to you, that they said that 73 cattle were stolen in Nasarawa as we speak. Well, are you gearing up? Key. Are you gearing up for perhaps a reprisal attack? If that is also the case, no, we don't attack them. They attack us. We are saying that the number 73 they are giving in the name of cause is just trying to mock us because we buried 73 of our people in Benue that they killed. So is it that they are saying 73 cars, they are they valuing the head of a car now to the head of the souls we bury in Benue? It is a conspiracy and a mockery on the people of Benue. It will not hold water. We are going to respond to them, not through a prayer attack, because we have been using all legal means in this country to make sure they, bring, they, they have been brought to book. The conspirators of those acts will be exposed. I will still call on the law enforcers to arrest them and persecute them. All right, Terence Kwanama. President of Benway Youth Forum, thank you very much for bringing your thoughts to bear on the news hour. I appreciate it. My pleasure.